Hey guys, it's your boy Michael again at the H&M Reviews channel and today we are going to extend the cables once again on our Avapow 6000 peak amp. Avapow clamp, okay? I don't want to bore you with everything. We did purchase a brand new 100 watt soldering gun because we were told that we are doing it uh, yesterday when we were soldering our, um, our uh, Fox P cables. It was taking us forever because our solder gun was under the wattage. I think it was 80 watts. But even with this one, it's still taking me a little while because I'm brand new at this. I'm really not sure. You know, obviously I'm not doing everything correctly because I'm pretty new, like I said. But you're not really supposed to be moving the gun around just to solder. But it's not getting that hot, you know? You know, I mean, it's just not getting hot. And, you know, I guess like waterproof them and like moisture proof them, whatever you want to call it, you know? So, just don't want it to, want, hopefully it fits, <laughs> you know. If not, there we go, I think it's going to fit. Ooh, it's a little hot, okay. Okay, boom. Now, it does fit, and I do not have a heat gun. I do have a hair dryer, though. I'm going to use the hot side, okay. A little better. I mean, it's not, it's not you know perfect, but you know it's on there pretty well. See it now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to make this look as professional as possible because, like I said, I do have to order. Um, I have no more uh, eight gauge 200 C wire left, so I got to order the correct wire for the Hulkman, the Noco, all of those. You know, so I'm going to use the red. Okay, I'm going to use the red. I wanted to try to match as close as possible, you know. Okay. Now, let's give it a little shot so you guys can see. Okay, there you go. See it? I'm going to put a little bit of flux on there. I'm going to make it a little thinner, obviously, because, you know, it's not really, you know. Got to make it very thin. Try to make it as uniform to the wire as possible. Okay. Just clean my fingers off. And we're going to start soldering, you know. And like I showed you guys before, I'm brand new at soldering, so, you know, don't, you know, take it easy on me. We did buy a new 100 watt, uh, you know, the heating gun. But for some reason, it's taken me forever to solder, you know, for whatever reason. I just don't understand why, but it is. It's taking me forever. <laughs> so, just bear with me, guys. Okay, bear with me. See what we got here. This is basically, you know, what I got. See it? <clears throat> I did give it the strength test before off camera. But yeah, I mean, there it is, guys. Just want you to. Here's the whole part to see the, you know. Here's where the clamp is on this side. And then this is three feet. And there is the module. And if all goes well, this should work. Hey guys, here's the second part of the Avapow 6000 amp extender cables. Like I mentioned in the previous video, this is three feet extension on these smart jumper cables. The Fox Peed, they all have no boost button. Okay, 
But the Fox PG29 has the digital readout module. And that is the only jump starter that can completely start a dead battery, a completely dead battery with no boost button. Because it has the digital readout of the voltage. For whatever reason, there's something in the module that makes it work. I mean, but these models here, the Avapow and the iMazing, will not work. It will not jump start a completely dead battery. It'll jump start any other, you know, I mean, if there's like a couple volts in it, it'll probably start it. But, I mean, I think it's less than like, I forget what they say, 5 volts. And that's considered a completely dead battery, I believe. And it will not jump start. It's more than 5 volts, I believe. The other pal, the amazing, will jump start, you know, anything over, I think, 4 or 5 volts. I don't know. Like somewhere like that. Something like that. But I just wanted to show you the progress we made. Okay, we, um, we soldered, fluxed, put the heat shrink wrapping tubing around there, and we used red and black electrical tape to give it you know a better appearance so yeah i mean if you guys want to extend your cables hit me up i'll help you out you know if you need some guidance or tips let me know because a couple of my uh subs you know in the last video they told me that i'm using an underpowered soldering gun that's why i couldn't really you know get a lot of solder i mean but i kept moving the gun all over the place but unfortunately, I bought a 100-watt gun, and the same thing was happening. You know, I'm, I'm kind of brand new at soldering, so I'm really, I'm learning as I go. So I'm sure I was doing something wrong, but I appreciate my subs looking out for me and telling me, giving me the tips, because a lot of them, you know, I'm sure they're solderers. But yeah, guys, we are going to go outside in about five minutes and see if this works or not, okay? The Fox P G29 Smart cables, the extended version, they work perfect. Let's see if the Avapow 6000 amp smart cables, extended version, work just as well. See you outside, guys. Peace. All right, guys, it's Michael again. This is the third part of the extended jumper cables on the Avapow 6000 amp. This is our second test on our second jump starting unit. This one does not have a boost button, and it does not have the digital readout of the voltage on the module. It just has a regular, you know, the regular module. Where is it? Right there. Just a regular module on the Avapal. It's upside down right now. I'm just putting it in the, you know, in the port right now, just for now. Okay, let's. We have the test light on here. We want to see how many voltage is in the. Well, how much voltage is in here? And we have, what is it? Hold on a second. Uh, is that 11.1? 11.1. We know that's not going to be enough to jump start. Should we try it? Give it a shot. Might work, it might not, but let's just see if it'll start. No. Nope. You hear it clicking? Okay. Now we know that was not enough to start the car. Now, we are gonna use our three foot extended version. Okay, here is our, put the one on there. Got the negative on there. Put the module in, and it's green. It's green. The other power is green. Let's see. Let's see how it works. Oh, wait. Nope. Now it's blue again. I think I, I hit something. Give me a second. By accident, I pushed the button when I was pulling it out. Or pulling it. Pushing it, I should say. Okay, ready? Let's make sure it's green again. Make sure we have enough. It's green. Let's go. Let's see if let's see if it'll start. Car started on the first shot, guys. Ow, I hit my head. It started on the first shot, the Avapow 6000 amp with the extended cables, guys. Look at them. Three foot. Three foot extended cables. How about that? You hear the module clicking? Let's put this in the front seat. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Here's the, here's the cables. Three foot. 
all the way over the seat. And you can see the module sitting here, <laughs> sitting in the console in the front seat. Look at that. Obviously, it timed out, but that's how wide. That's how long, wide, I mean, everything. The Avapow, it's a beast. It's 6,000 peak amps, which we know it's probably not 6,000 peak amps, because we did previous tests before. Now let's check out the wires, see how hot they are. These are cool wires, cool wires, cool to the touch. No fire, guys, no sparkage, no nothing. Okay, let's actually, also, what I want to do, I'm sure it, I'm sure it, uh, did it click back on? Yeah, it clicked back onto the green because I readjusted it. I shut the car off. What I want to do is I just want to see the reverse polarity. I want to see how good it works. <clears throat> so we're going to take the positive, put it on the negative, and vice versa. Okay? And unfortunately, the Avapow 6000 amp does not have an audible alert. Okay? Oh, actually, hang on a second. Let me bring the Avapal into the, the back seat instead. Yeah. You see, it actually has some... Um, where are we here? We kept seeing a red light blinking. Hang on a second. Bear with me, guys. Yeah. See it? Where is it? Is it? Okay. The reverse polarity is on there. The black's on the red. The red's on the black. And you see a red... See the red reverse connection light? I would really like if Avapow had the audible sound to alert you because most times <laughs> you're not paying attention to a, to, like, to a little, like a half an inch light, like, it's, well, I should say a, a half a centimeter light, <laughs> okay? I mean, you want to hear that sound, that beep, like most units have, okay? And, you know, that's just one of the flaws I have with this, you know, is it just doesn't tell you by sound, you know? Now maybe all these jump starting companies, the jump starter cable companies, will watch my video and see that you can safely, effectively extend the cables. A couple of feet, three feet. I mean, I mean even an extra like like foot and a half, two feet will help us consumers dramatically when jump starting a battery. I mean it's just most of the time you go to jump start your battery and you can't you can't get your unit in you know you gotta put it sideways crooked backwards so you'll have a connection you, you know so you get a good connection and then you hop in the car and the clamp pops off because there's a bad connection uh, you know it's just it's it's very silly very silly and you would have thought the engineers at these companies would have looked into this a long time ago now also i want to show you one more thing before okay give me a second here guys Give me a second. I'm going to put this right back. I'm going to put this little thing in there. Okay. Okay, put the module back in. Okay. Now, pretend pretend it's dark out, guys, okay? We're going to put, the, you know, the red on, the black on, and this is the point I was trying to make the last time, okay? The flashlight on the Avapow is on the opposite side of the... The actual port of the smart cable port so actually the flashlight should be right here on this side should be but it's not okay it's on the other side and if you use the original cables you couldn't turn the unit to get a light on there right but now you could turn the unit all the way over and you can see what you're doing in the dark you know you could turn the unit all the way over instead see see how I'm turning it because before it would look like this and the light would be flashing outside in the opposite direction. Now you could turn it all the way around because you have enough wire room and you can see what you're doing. Just figured I'd bring that to your attention because as we all know, the light, the torch flashlight and the module, the smart cables should be on the same exact side. But I'd say seven out of 10 units, they have it on the opposite side. And you have some people, for some reason, they argue with me and they say, oh, uh, well, you can just turn the unit, you know, uh, but don't matter if it's on the other side, you can just turn it when it's connected. I said, no, you can't. First of all, the wires don't permit you to do that. The wires are too short. And then you have a couple of people who say, well, well, it's just a little beam of light anyway, so what's the big deal? 
and it, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh my gosh. People just don't understand the concept. If you're jump, I mean, if you're jumper, if you're like junk cabling on this side here, so we pretend it's on this side, the wires are over here, so your flashlight's pointing that way. I mean, people say, well, just turn the unit. Well, if you had the old cables, you couldn't turn the unit because there's not enough, there's not enough wiring, <laughs> you know? Then somebody said, well, well, unhook this, but then turn it around, then hook it back. I'm like, what good, what good would that do? You're defeating the whole purpose, you know? You want to be able to see, not disconnect anything and turn it so you can see everything. That, now you could with my three foot extended cables. You know, I'm hoping I can help a lot of people out with this. You know, watching my video. I mean, you know, I mean, as we all know, I never ask for anything. I'm not like that. I don't, I don't do this uh, for money. I do this to help people, okay? Because that's just how I am. I've always been helping all my life. Never wanted a penny for anything. I still don't. I never want a penny, you know. But yeah, guys, I mean, these videos are all for you guys. Free of charge to save you money, okay? So, click that subscribe button, guys. Click all so you never miss an upcoming video. And guys, I'm Michael with the H&M Reviews channel. Stay true to one another. Shake your neighbor's hand. Take a peek upstairs to the guy up there or the girl up there. And that's it, man. Let's all get along, right? Peace out.